Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here today to check out the video that won the Patreon poll of the week and that's Amaranth Do or Die featuring Angela Gasau from, well not from, she's not from... Formally from... F formally from, thank you. I, she's their manager now, so technically she's still from so our she's channel. She's still part she, of the band. Well, she's not a part of the band, she's a part of the camp. Their, their, their management, but she's not a part of the band, she's not singing or playing an instrument. She's not showing up like halfway through a song with a cowbell in hand. Oh, uh, like, I think that would be badass. By I think the way. that needs to happen. I think that would be badass. But anyways, so uh, video that won the Patreon poll of the week. I was not surprised. I put five videos together that were brand new releases on Friday. This one being one of them. And I'm not gonna lie. I kind of had a feeling that this was gonna win. You did it just to see how much it would buy. Uh, I I did it for that reason, and you know. Yeah, I did it really for okay. that reason. Okay, I was trying to find another reason, but I just really wanted to see how much people love Amaranth, and and it won with seventy percent of the votes. So it was not even it was not even close. It was the Premier League. Yeah, so this video had seventy percent, and then the other thirty were divided amongst four other videos. So that tells you something. That tells you everyone wants to see Amaranth. Everybody wants us to check out this video, and I want to check out this video because I'm really interesting to see, uh, interested to see what this song is going to be about. But almost. As much as I'm interested to see what the song is going to be about, I'm interested to see what the dynamic is going to be about yeah. with Angela and her vocals. Because she has a very different style of vocals than what you, what you get so, from Amaranth. I know, that's a, a cool combination. It's, I, I don't know if it's cool, but it's definitely interesting. Let's go with interesting. Yeah. Alright, are you ready for this? Yeah. Alright, let's do this then.
I honestly thought it was going to say at the end there to be continued. Yeah. I thought it was going to do that. Um, by the way, I heard a rumor, uh, maybe not a rumor, but I, I heard that the solo on this track was done by Jeff Loomis of Arch Enemy, which considering now what I heard from that solo, I would not be shocked one yeah. bit if that was a Jeff Loomis solo. So that's what I, I saw that somewhere on the internet that Jeff Loomis did the solo on this track and that solo was absolutely incredible. But anyways, what, what did you think of this track? Pretty much a duet. Yeah. And it worked perfectly. It and really it did. Her, the the harsh vocals, uh, and and her and her clean vocals, the the mer the merging of both vocals are absolutely amazing, and I was actually very excited on how this was gonna sound, and uh, I, I was I wasn't disappointed. But I'm gonna tell you this: was this what you? Ex I wasn't expecting a duet though. I was expecting when when it said feature Angela, I thought it, she would come in maybe with a little bit of vocals either in the chorus or on the pre-chorus, or, or maybe have like one verse of just her in one verse, something I, like I along those lines. I was expecting like um, I was not expecting a duet back and forth, back and forth the whole track. It's pretty much the two of them singing the whole I, track. I, I generally just thought it would be clean vocals for the whole verses. And then for chorus, they come in and do a duet for the chorus. Or oh, is that what you thought? That's what I thought. See, I, I, I thought similar to that, but I thought that the, the, the portions sung by Angela would be very small. Yeah. Maybe just some harsh vocals here and there, or they, maybe just one time, or even, maybe just one Even though she's not uh, part of the band Arch Enemy anymore. Yeah, she's part of their management. Her vocals are still amazing. Okay, so that... Uh, so that Now you're going into what I wanted to go, but I didn't want to go there right away. But now yeah. since you went there, let's go there. If there's one thing this song did for me, it's made me realize how much I miss her singing. Yeah. Like, her voice is incredible. I love her, her vocals. They're incredible. And, and, you know, and it's... Let's put it this way. It's been a while. Like, we've seen Arch Enemy twice. Both of those times was with Alyssa. We've never had the pleasure to see Arch Enemy when Angela was there. So, it, the, the funny thing about it is I've kind of gotten used to Alyssa's vocals with Arch Enemy. E even now, when I hear some of the older tracks... I, the vocals are different, but when I hear some of the older tracks, I, I almost still picture that it's uh, Alyssa singing, just with a different with a different style of vocals, if you will. Yeah. You know what I mean? But seeing her now is like, oh man, it that was so good. Yeah, it makes it makes me miss that that part of the that yeah, history it makes, it makes of, of me want to go back and listen to Bloodstained Cross. Yeah, or Nemesis, or, or yeah. any of those tracks. Like it just makes me want to go back into the history of the band and listen to. Um, and I'm this is not a critique. On Alyssa, it's no, just it's they're just two that... different style of vocalists. Yeah, they they have some similarities, but they're different. And listening to her on this track just made me realize how good her voice is, how much I love those vocals, and how much I miss it. Yeah, that that, that was that was my takeaway. But um, but now going back into this song, I really appreciate the fact that they went with the duet. Like I said, I was not expecting that. I was expecting because normally when you have a band doing a song featuring a vocalist of another band, it's normally just a cameo. Yeah, they just give them like maybe one line in the verses. Sometimes one one portion of the verses or like something in the pre-chorus or yeah. something in the chorus. But something small, normally, normally. I'm not saying this is like the rule, but it's normally that way. So that's kind of what I was expecting. Because no. I was like, how are they going to mix the two styles? Uh, I, w I was really debating that in my mind. And the way they did it, they did it in a it very okay. creative and okay, good yang, way. Yang. Yeah, but... But they kind of feed off of each other. It's it, it, it's it's almost like uh, the the feeling that you get is almost like you have this this devil and this angel on your shoulder, yeah. and each and one of them at the, at the same time. Yeah, and and they're both telling you di you know different things, pulling you in different directions. It kind of had that feeling to me, and I really enjoyed that because I think the two styles really complement each other well. And this is a song that it's not overly heavy. But definitely Angelo's vocals add a little bit of heaviness to it. And the other aspect that, in my opinion, added heaviness to the song was the guitar solo. Oh. Because the guitar solo really brought a lot of power, strength, volume, texture to the song. It made the song feel heavy during that portion. So overall, it's not a heavy song. But the fact that you include that incredible guitar solo and Angela's vocals alone, those two elements alone, made the song feel a lot heavier than yeah. what it is. Because it's not a heavy song at all. It still has a lot of the amaranth pop elements to it. But those two elements kind of overshadowed. Like almost every time the sun was peeking through, like she would go in and close the blinds a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, her vocals had the ability to every time the song felt like it was going down that, that more pop road her voice would come in and kind of like put put a stop to it and make the song heavier for that that duration 
of her vocals. Then, yeah. then, then it would go away, and as you start to feel like the song is becoming a little bit more pop again, she comes in and she kills it. So I really like that dynamic, that, that yin and yang, you know, yeah. uh, style. It worked really well, you know, and sometimes it's not an easy thing to do because the two styles are very different. But, but it works really it well. Yeah, it's it's easier to do it when you have, which Amaranth does, a, a male vocalist that does harsh vocals, because that creates a, a lot more of a of a break between the clean female vocals and the male harsh vocals. There's more of a a, a real divide in the styles yeah. and the tone, right? When you're having two female vocalists with different styles, it's not as easy to pull it off. So the, the, it's really interesting how they were able to do it and create a song that has a lot of forward. It's not a fast tempo song, but it has a forward momentum to yeah. it. it. It really carries itself well all the way through. And the guitar solo, if, like I said, I heard it was Jeff Loomis. If that's a Jeff Loomis, I mean, it has all the, the DNA, all the, the makings. Career, all the makings to be a Jeff Loomis solo and, and absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I, I love the solo. I love... The, the melody, the, the solo had so much melody, but at the same time, it made the song heavy. It had a heaviness to it, an underlying heaviness to it. The guitar, in, uh, in general, kind of had like a heaviness to it. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. But in, and I feel like the solo kind of made it even more obvious. Do you know what I mean? And, yeah. and it just it just made it more in your face. The 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 heaviness of, of the overall guitar heaviness on, on the track. Perhaps more than normal from an Amaranth track, if you will. Yeah. But there was a lot of elements that made this song feel a lot heavier. Like we said, Angela's vocals really made the song feel a bit, a bit more uh, stronger, a little bit heavier, you know. All right, guys, this is it for today. But thank you for watching and come back tomorrow. We'll have, we'll have another video tomorrow. All right? Yeah. Take care, guys. See ya. See ya.